Purely when I first started, I had a goal in mind that I wanted to see all Queensland community clubs with a mental health first aid uh, person at, at their club. And when I first came, SEQ had already had a support squad kind of you know pilot in place to implement into the rep rep team. So kind of with a bit of discussion ongoing, we, we come up that we thought support squad would work really well, you know, in the community um, at all the clubs. So that's how it began, and um, it is where it is now. If we can break the stigma down around mental health and we can actually let our players, coaches, volunteers, uh, mums and dads, anyone involved in rugby league or the community for that matter, know that there is help out there, particularly in the wellbeing space. Um, we are getting a lot better as it, with it as a society, but if we can implement and let people know that, hey, there's people here to talk and we can help point them in the right direction, then uh, we can go a long way to uh, being a part of that solution. So the support squad people will be mental health first aid trained. Um, a lot of them already have it, which is very beneficial for us. Um, those that don't will be trained up with their mental health first aid. Um, also on top of that, Alive, our partner uh, with this program, the Suicide Prevention Company, which is unreal what they provide and they're providing an online resource uh, for a lot of education uh, for the volunteers. Alive's been working with QRL for the past seven seasons. Initially we started responding to any incident that happened that was a critical incident with the objective to be able to prevent further crisis and be able to support those that had experienced some kind of trauma or um, stress due to that experience. Um, and very quickly we started moving into the prevention and wellbeing space with QRL. So really focusing on how we can prevent those occurrences happening, how we can build resilience in our young athletes and getting support to the grassroots level of the game right through to that semi-professional level of the game. I just thought I'd, I'd like to get a little bit more involved um, about the well-being side of sort of rugby league. Um, Suicide is obviously a massive problem with, uh, with youth. Uh, I've had some friends uh, who've gone through some mental health issues themselves and I just thought I'd like to get a little bit more knowledge and then we are a really big club now and although we've had a bit of a well-being officer here already, uh, just add into that and hopefully you can get to a point where these purple shirts that people come up to you and actually want to have a chat. So really the aim with the support squad is to make sure through using Alive's Get Real Institute, they actually have the resources they need to help young people build protective factors for mental health. So it'll cover things for them like managing stress, balancing their time, really understanding their values, all of the things that help buffer mental health concerns and actually build resilience is actually available for support squad volunteers to use with their players and upskill coaches. So over the time that we invest in support squad, we really want to see at least one support squad member in every of the just under 400 clubs that we have across Queensland, making sure that every club at every level of the game has a wellbeing person they know they can lean into that has the resources, has the qualifications, and has the information about where further support can be received making sure that each of our clubs are not just knowing how to respond to crisis, but they're really armed with how to prevent it in the first place. I think the more support and the, um, we get around our players in our community in rugby league around the wellbeing, mental health space, the better. So it's something that I'm passionate about and as soon as the, the opportunity came up, I jumped at it. I think the training was fantastic. Uh, everything that I was involved in, everyone was fully engaged. So. The more training and education we get to people, the better. So we've got the pilot program to roll out first. Um, we've got 36 volunteers uh, registered into that. Um, they'll be trained up uh, by the start of next season. Um, on top of that, we'll start recruiting uh, in the next month or so for, for next year as well. So we'll have uh, funds from the QRL to provide more opportunities for the 2022 season and then ongoing from that. So. Um, we're very fortunate to have this pilot you know, take off, but also use these people as um, resources to those that want to become part of the support squad as well. 
um, to understand the, the importance of it and, and use those as our best resource. So we've got the online um, access to, to everyone on the qrl.com.au um, to follow the link on the support squad on there. Um, join the squad so by that you'll express your interest through a form there and I'll get in touch with you and I've uh, been very overwhelmed with the, the amount of people that have already registered and, and showed their interest so it'll just be trying to get that across to the whole state being mindful of funds and, and that to make sure that this is spread all the way um, across the state and not just focused on where we are here in SEQ. I feel like rugby league we've got the great opportunity to to have a ready-made audience. I think rugby league is a lot bigger than the game itself on the weekend. Um, we've got to appreciate that we've got a lot of people in our game that come from broken families, um, a lot of lonely kids that look to rugby league as their source of, of fun and happiness. So we need to use that time, you know, right and understand that we need to eradicate that feeling from that, that young child or, or person um, in our game. And by doing that, creating a space that they feel comfortable, but also upskilling them and being proactive with this space as well. I find at times it's such a reactive space. We wait until something happens and then we react. I want to build that capacity in the participants so when they get to an adult age and they get you know down the track, that they've built that solid foundation for the mental health you know awareness.